Hey, I'm so excited to show you around. Come on in. Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome to 31 Thornbank Road. I'm Miriam Manzo. This spectacular estate is now on the market and we were brought in to do the staging for the property. Um, it had been staged before, um, but they felt that they needed something that was more to scale. And when we came in, I felt that there were a few things that needed updating. The bones of this house are incredible. There is no attention to detail that was spared. It was built by, um, a custom home builder who actually it was their family home and he's since gone on to build a few more houses um, so this spectacular property as i said is now on the market let's start here in the grand foyer this is a spectacular space so when we came there wasn't um, very much furniture you'll see from the befores and the limestone floors which are such classic uh, material to use on the floors were in need of restoration so the first thing we did was we started here we brought somebody in who buffed the floors out for us and brought the beauty and their original luster back in we didn't do anything with the paint colors the details here the railings the uh, baseboards are all actually limestone as well as the columns um, there are core bells what we did do was we changed out the two lights in front of the office and the living room uh, to contemporize it more so that was really my goal here is uh, for those of you who love classic design this house like i said has all the bells and whistles but if you put period furniture or furniture that belongs to that's too traditional it would have perhaps dated the house and when you have classical bones you shouldn't be afraid to bring in contemporary furniture so that's what we've done we've mixed antiques we've mixed traditional and we've mixed contemporary so starting here we left the homeowners chairs brought in a more contemporary little um, table in the black with gold hits put a cowhide down. I love what they do to a space. The lights contemporize it. Um, and then these little stools, um, again, are a contemporary take on traditional. Um, and then one of the things that um, people ask me is runner or no runner. And if you're trying to uh, lux up your space, definitely a runner, especially in a house like this. The stairs were bare. We added this beautiful herringbone um, wool carpet to all the staircases. And I think it just really transformed the staircase. Um, and overall, it's just such a beautiful grand space. So to the one side of this grand foyer, we have this incredible uh, office, all built-ins, coffer ceilings. You can see the wood wraps the room. Uh, the desk was here a beautiful uh, piece that was built for the space. So again, what we did was we lightened it up by contemporizing some of the uh, upholstered pieces we brought in. A new desk chair um, and this beautiful chaise, and then we put another wool carpet down. Um, just such an incredible space. And you'll notice throughout the house, these beautiful sets of French doors basically run through the whole house. They're just spectacular. And from the outside, it makes such a beautiful visual, but it also enhances the um, space inside the house. So let's take a look at the opposite, the living room. The formal living room, I wanna point out one thing that you're gonna notice throughout the house. The proportion of the rooms are all incredible. There's not a single room in this house that um, suffers in size because of another room. So you'll see that everything is generously proportioned. And you'll see here a limestone fireplace. There are three fireplaces in the house, as well as outdoor fireplaces. Um, the, the grounds are spectacular here. So we chose again to go with a contemporary uh, piece of art. And then you'll see that my furniture here is very contemporary, even though this mantle is somewhat traditional. And I chose to keep all the furniture away from the walls because as you can see, we don't have a lot of wall space to work with, being that we have arches and uh, doors, these beautiful French doors. Then we have this incredible archway 
dividing us from the dining room. And again, you'll notice plaster crown moldings everywhere, as well as attention to detail on the ceilings. We've got two Swarovski crystal chandeliers here, one in the living room and one in the dining room. Um, this is a dining table that can seat 10. You can see there's room to go to 12 if you so desired. Beautifully proportioned. You can see these gorgeous grills um, on the windows. It's just luxury at every turn. So again, you'll see we mixed a traditional table, brought in more contemporary chairs um, and buffet, and then went with a traditional mirror again. So as mentioned earlier, this is a crossover between MMI and the staging crew. And you'll see throughout where we did some touches with paint, we brought in the runners. Um, in the playroom, you can see um, some of our uh, touches and then one of the things I did in most of the rooms was change out the light fixtures to uh, bring in more to scale pieces. Uh, these two in particular though were left. I fell in love with them and they are perfect for the space. Through the archway we land at this area where there's a secondary staircase to the second level. I love the detail of this wrought iron uh, picket where it comes down and meets the stringer. It's so beautiful. And you can see on the wall, we have a wainscoting that goes up the stairs and into the second floor. And you can see where we brought our herringbone runner on the staircase here as well. Now behind me, we have this generously sized mudroom. Uh, we did change the lighting here and we can show you the before of what it looked like and the impact that lighting makes on a space. And then I did this little desk area here, a place to sort of get away from the main area if you're doing a Zoom call or if you've got children. Uh, it's a place where you can keep an eye on them, but they do have some privacy. A family powder room here, and behind me there is also a very generous size laundry room. And then we come into the main family room area. Again, another beautifully, generously sized room. Now this room is really all about these French doors that look out onto this spectacular estate lot. Really, you need to see this to really appreciate the beauty of it. And the lot actually backs on to a golf course. So we made this our little TV hub area. You can see the room is anchored by this beautiful limestone fireplace. A prominent piece in the room. It is more traditional, but you can see that I brought in clean lines in the furniture to counterbalance the traditionalness of this piece. Uh, it is flanked by console tables and lamps on either side. And again, some more fresh abstract art. Now where room permits, I like to put a desk behind the sofa. This is twofold. If you are doing some work, but you wanna be with the family watching TV, paying bills, or just on your complete computer, it's a great place to sit. And it also allows you to sit and have a lunchtime snack while watching TV. Heading into the kitchen now, you can see this archway has the same continuity that we saw in the uh, office. Beautiful mahogany detail, which is then repeated here in the island. A granite counter top, uh, stone top. And then I want you to see the details on this ceiling. We've got beams that run across the ceiling with corbels. Again, a detail brought in from the foyer. You can see again, a generously sized space. We could have gone with a large round table. The option is yours, but I decided to go with the rectangular so that my sight line to this beautiful piece of art and this buffet were intact. Again, oversized windows looking out onto this lot. And to my right here, we see an outdoor sitting area with an outdoor fireplace, such a luxury. This kitchen is really all about classic bones. We've got a classic painted kitchen. This is never gonna go out of style. The house is about 16 years old and you can see these details translate today every bit as much as they did when the house was built. Again, it's all about the attention to detail. And at the hood, you see again the limestone mantle is repeated here for the hood fan. Overall, this kitchen is spectacular.
Let's take a look at upstairs. I'm so excited to show you what's up there. We're on the upper level now, and I want to pause here for a moment to this little overlook that looks into the grand foyer. You really get a sense here of the beauty of those limestone floors and the details in the crown molding, the light fixture, the ceiling, as well as the runner. And here we have a laundry chute, so a little area where you throw your laundry down and it goes right into that generously sized laundry room we talked about earlier. So come on here. This is the first of a few bedrooms. We've got every bedroom has its own ensuite. One more luxurious and beautiful than the other. Again, we did change light fixtures in here and uh, we have beautiful windows. Again, those grill details. The room you can see is a generous size, as are all the rooms. I, I've said it a few times already. There's still room for more furniture here, as you can see. We brought in this beautiful little boucle chair with a antique mirror hung above it. And then in the rooms you're seeing, we've done queen size beds throughout, except for the master where we have a king bed. Beautiful details. Again, you see the crown moldings run through the drapery are all included in the house. And as a matter of fact, the furniture can be included in the purchase. It is negotiable. Let's take a look at bedroom number two. Bedroom number two has its own walk-in closet. Again, very generously sized, another ensuite. And what's spectacular about this room is we have this little built-in area with bookcases and a window bench. Everybody loves a window bench. Another queen size bed and you can see still lots of room for a dresser or a desk, a bench at the foot. There's lots of room in here. Let's go to the next bedroom. So while this next room can be used as a bedroom, I'm gonna show you how the room is currently set up. Through this beautiful arch top doorway, we enter into another large room. We've set it up as a playroom. So there's lots of built-ins here, a large desk area. It was just corkboard and we brought in this beautiful whimsical fabric here and put it over the corkboard. I find it's more luxurious not to see the color of the cork. Um, so this picks up what we've done on the floor and brings it in and, and again, just brings in a sense of whimsy. And then we brought in some fun colored chairs, again, a desk area for the kids, a little area here for artwork. We've got a TV set up here so much space and again it's all about these windows to this magnificent estate lot so as i said this could easily be retrofitted into another bedroom but how spectacular for a family with children to have this as their playroom or a learning center let's take a look at the primary the primary ensuite my favorite room in this house the luxury continues here starting with these French doors that go out to your own private balcony that overlook the pool, hot tub, and the beautiful estate lot. Then you have this beautiful, generously sized bed wall, king size headboard and bed with these generous size nightstand. There's room here, as you see, for a sofa. We've done a little bench here and your own fireplace in the master bedroom. Again, another place where we did change lighting. So this room boasts its own linen closet, but you're gonna see there's also a his closet as well as a her closet. And wait till you see the primary ensuite. In this little ante room between the primary bedroom and ensuite, I took a moment to do this little makeup area so that it was out of the way of the occupant using the bathroom. But wait till you see this bathroom, it's spectacular. We brought in some wallpaper again. We did have wallpaper originally on the walls, which was this large pattern you see over the tub. I felt that it was overwhelming all the beautiful details in this room, as well as the view from these windows. So I brought in this vinyl wallpaper to quiet things down, but still keep the luxury. We brought in a round table that in a room this size is just such a luxury to have, as well as a cowhide. You can see the beautiful built-ins around this jetted uh, tub 
and then even room for a sitting area. The room has its own water closet with bidet area, as well as a walk-in shower with jets and steam. And then two sinks, a his and a hers, beautiful light features here and mirrors, and then another small linen closet. Also, we did do a new light fixture here to keep again that traditional contemporary flow going in the room. The lower level is an entertainer's dream. You can see this wide open space uh, behind me. I've divided into zones. So here we have a conversation pit. And then behind me, this large sectional is for TV watching. We also have this bar area set up for games, snacks, drinking. We also have a billiard table here. This house has so many features we have not yet shown you. There is a craft room, there is a home gym, a home theater, a full-size nanny suite with a ensuite bath and private closet. There are storage rooms, there are so many features in this house. You really need to see it to appreciate the beauty of this one. If you're interested in seeing more, please call Verna De Bono from Hammond International to book your private tour of this spectacular estate. Thanks for coming along on today's tour of 31 Thornbank Drive. Really one of the most incredible houses I've had the honor of working on. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, ring that bell icon to be notified of our future videos and to comment. Let us know how we're doing and what you'd like to see next. I'm Miriam Manzo. Thanks for watching.